Hey, you wanna be successful in life? You can't do it all yourself. You need a team. Putting together a good team is essential to your success. Hey guys, I'm Steve with Steve's POV. This is Motivational Monday. I welcome you to my garage, a place where I like to just sit, think, and talk about some things that I've learned over my time in life, these 49 years, but particularly the time of working and living in Japan and some of the lessons I've learned back then that I've applied to my life today that now I hope to share with you. Teamwork, teamwork. When I grew up and, and on the East Coast, I talk about it all the time, and I went to the University of Wisconsin, and I started studying business. At that time, I speak about it a lot. Japan's economy was on its way to being the number one in the entire world. Japan is number one. All of these books were being published. I was fascinated. One of the things we spoke about in business school all the time was the concept of teamwork. I understand team. We all understand team. Football teams, baseball teams, basketball teams. We understand what a team is. But I never really thought about teamwork in the sense of a work environment. What we talked about all the time back then is why Japanese work in groups very, very well. And all of a sudden I noticed at that time in business schools became a big focus on working well in groups, working well together, not individually. In America we grew up being individuals, we, the individual. We express our individuals, we do things ourselves, we're created by ourselves. In Japan, much more of a group concept in everything you do. Everybody's very equal. They talk about the screw that sticks out, gets hammered back down, or the nail that sticks out, gets hammered back down. Not as an American, we didn't do that. So I get to Japan, I moved to Japan, I got work in Japan, I went into Japan, and I quickly saw how a team is built, not only in a work environment, but in a personal environment in your own life as well. In a work environment, you know, I have a gift, I guess, of the gap. I like to talk. Many of the Japanese people around me did not talk very well, but they were real good with math, with analyzing things, with other types of stuff. Part of our team, our sales team, international sales team. I was the face, I was the talker. I spoke English well, I knew how to BS with people all over the world, and I would bring back sales, I would bring back orders. I was not very good at processing orders or being detailed and getting things shipped out, but we had a girl in our group who was great at that, and we had another guy who was great at the technical side of everything else. This was our team. It was a balance of different people with different abilities who made up one strong sales unit in a company. Take it to life now. You have a girlfriend, you get married, you meet somebody, you know you wanna have a successful relationship. Creating balance on a team with different people in different roles is no different than creating balance in your own life, in your own family life. Let me suggest something. If you're like me and you like to talk and you like to, you have this extroverted, you kinda of have a personality like me, maybe it's good to Get together with somebody who's not exactly like you. You know, two people who are exactly the same wind up button heads a lot. But let's say you're real good at English, and talking and speeches and all this, you know, all this outward stuff. To get together with somebody who's kind of better at some of the, maybe the math and the sciences and maybe isn't as loud or isn't as quiet. You kind of balance each other. What you're good at, that person maybe isn't as good at. What that person's good at, good at. And somehow, those things all mesh together and you have a great team at home too. And hopefully as you raise kids and they learn and they gain a little bit from both of you, now you have a new teammate, part of your team, who kind of bridges the gap between both of you. Maybe a little closer to one than the other in some ways, but again, that's the interesting part of building a team. Everybody's different, taking all those little elements, adding them together, taking everybody's abilities, adding them all together into one total, hopefully successful team story. I think one important thing to understand about a team is that everybody is different. Everybody has different skills. Doesn't make one person better or worse. You know, somebody's maybe better at this, doesn't mean that that person, you know, is bad at that. It, every, it's not a good and a bad. It's not that this person's better and this person's not. It's how this person's skills can mesh with this person's skills, how with this person's lack of skills can work with this person's strong skills and put them all together. It's not like, well, oh, I'm smarter than you, I'm better than you, I talk better than you. Well, yeah, I bet you that person does a few things better than you do too. You know what? That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of building a team. The beauty is taking all those differences, all those different people, assembling together into your team. And it doesn't have to be a big team. It can be a small team, as long as it's an effective team for what your goals are. That's what I learned in Japan. A little lesson I hope to share with you. These are lessons 
from life, things that I learned in Japan, being a dad, being married, raising a family, and I hope that I, some of these things I'm sharing with you benefit you. If they do, even if they don't, leave a comment below. I promise I will look at everything that you've left. I will try to comment back. And please go back and look, listen to some of the previous topics too. Perhaps you'll generate some ideas from those, or perhaps you'll come up with something and say, hey Steve, can you maybe talk about this one of these days? And I promise I will try. I really, really do. I thank you. I respect you for the time you've taken to spend with me this week. Thumbs up. Stay positive. And until next week, hebi zenshin. Look it up. I talked about it in last week's video. Thumbs up.